Here, uh, Mr. Thomas, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a, a question in regard to capital investment grants. Uh, the Trump administration's skinny budget calls for elimination of capital investment grant uh, or the new starts. DART has two separate projects in this pipeline. Do you think that it makes fiscal sense to eliminate an infrastructure program that has 55 projects from across the country in the planning and engineering stage, potentially setting back billions of dollars of infrastructure investment? There's certainly across the United States, uh, Congressman, there's been a lot of work done in preparation of these projects. A lot of these projects, as they are in Dallas, have gone through extensive uh, community meetings, lots of planning efforts, lots of coordination. Uh, and certainly in our case, we're bringing a significant um, amount of money to the table, as we always have, as we'll continue to do in our financial plan. Uh, so it, it uh, and people have looked at uh, the FAST Act as a, that, that, although it only goes to 2020, and we understand there are challenges beyond that, we're certainly appreciative of the long-term bill. We would like for it to stay intact and for it to continue to move forward through 2020. So these agencies, including ours, that have anticipated that, that funding can go ahead and get these projects completed and, uh, and, and provide those choices to people. Yeah, but does it make uh, fiscal sense to eliminate them? And certainly in, in DART's case, no, ma'am, it does not okay. because we're bringing money to the table. Uh, they're getting 50 cents on the dollar for a project, uh, so it seems like it makes a whole lot of sense to continue to do that. Thank you. Uh, yes, another sir. question I have uh, has to do with positive train control. Uh, the FAST Act provided $199 million guaranteed for Mass Transit account of Highway Tr Trust Fund for fiscal year 2017 to help commuter railroads implement PTC. Appropriations Committee, our very own, did not make the funding available, however, under the continuing resolution. This critical safety funding will lapse if the CR is extended for the remainder of this fiscal year. Mr. Patterson, Mr. Thomas, can you elaborate why this funding is important to your agencies? Well, uh, certainly the transit industry is hopeful that Congress will quickly complete the FY17 budget so that that $199 million of grant funding can be uh, uh, allocated to the properties throughout the, the country. We've got a 2018 deadline for our commuter rail system uh, to put that in place. Uh, that comes, that, that requirement comes on top of operating and maintaining our system every day. So it's imperative that... that it's already been extended once. Yes, ma'am. And so it's, it's imperative that to, to meet the 2018 deadline to get that funding in place so we can get those that in, uh, critical safety project complete. Thank you. Uh, question primarily for Mr. Patterson and Mr. Reed. Uh, Mayor Reed, I have been working on amendment to FAA reauthorization to prohibit FAA from impacting state and local general sales tax. The issue, for 30 years, FAA has required excise tax on aviation fuels to be spent on airports for in airport infrastructure, but for 30 years, the FAA has not interpreted this requirement to affect general sales tax, which aviation fuel, uh, tax aviation fuel, as well as other products sold in the country or the state. Now they're changing their interpretation, requiring state and local governments to account how much money is collected by the general sales tax on aviation fuel and siphoning the money for back to the airport. Major federal visa problem when state and local governments are being told how to spend their own tax dollars by the FAA. It'll impact local transportation projects since most sales tax around the country provide for local transportation funding. The Hartfield-Jackson Airport in the state of Georgia is one of the most impacted regions in the country with the new rule. It will take millions of dollars out of local control, a major problem in my state of California. Are you aware of the issue and do you have concerns with this new FAA rule? Should Congress fix and return 30 years of precedence that allows state and local governments to spend their general tax revenue as they see fit. I, I, I don't have any knowledge. Um, I, I have knowledge, but I can't really comment on that. I, I think the mayor would be better suited for this answer. Uh, Congresswoman, I'm on your side. And I, I, think, I don't think I could have said it better than you just said it. 
Well, it's an infringement upon the local control, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yield back. Mr. Schmucker.